welcome back. We are here with Taraji B. Henson and Gabriel Union now. Gabriel, let's talk about this. Huge congrats on the yes! new memoir. Woo! You've got anything stronger. It's already... It, it, it just came out. It's already a New York Times bestseller. It's your second memoir. Huge congratulations. Tell us all about it. Oh, my gosh. I, I wanted to do a follow-up from the first book. There was a lot that I had left out because I mm. wasn't quite really ready to yeah. share all that. Yeah. So with this one, I just left it all out. I, 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 I accepted my vulnerability as my superpower, and I just left it all on the page. And to, to be on the New York Times bestseller li list week one and then come back week two and still be on the list, yeah. that's... I had never done that before, and that just felt amazing. So it's... It's, it's, well, it's, it's so brilliant. You, you speak so... Honestly, you have such a great way of telling stories. There's a brilliant story in the book about when you went to audition for <laughs> the Matrix movies. Yeah. Um, tell, tell us the story. Explain how, um, how it came about and how you prepared for such a role. Yeah, I, love well, I mean, story. Tiara, you remember that time where everyone and their mother was auditioning for the Matrix. I wasn't. Mm. I could, <laughs> because you were already booked. No, my agents were <laughs> at the time. So. Or that, yeah. um, which is why she has different representation and she's doing the Muppets. Um, <laughs> OK. So, so I went to audition, and to me, I needed to feel like the most powerful woman in the world, and the most beautiful and amazing woman in the world. And so, of course, I wanted to channel Janet Jackson. So <laughs> I, go to, I go to Extensions Plus, which is like... <laughs> Where, yes. where you got the good, hair good hair. Mecca. It's the, it's the Mecca of, of weaves. Yeah. Um, and so I wanted to get the good hair, the Janet hair. Yeah. Um, so I, I literally <laughs> have, I get the Janet hair from, from the, the weave emporium. Um, I literally, <laughs> like, find the exact outfit from her album cover. I draw in the damn mole. I'm like, I fully committed, wow. right? So I'm yeah. in the audition. I play Janet the whole time. I'm, like, waiting for the audition. And I'm in there early. And I'm like, oh, nobody's gonna stop me. <laughs> in walks Janet Jackson. <laughs> to the same audition. And I'm, like, cosplaying as Janet. <laughs> with a weird drawn-on mold. And <laughs> she's, like, free. Um, and neither of us got it. I think we canceled each other out. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was probably a restraining order of, of sorts. Uh, but, ev but eventually, we end up meeting. Right. And I'm like, I don't want to meet her. She's Janet, and she I'm a creep. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> perhaps there's, like, I have to maintain, like, a 100-yard radius. I don't know. So I see her at this club. I, we find out that we're at the same club, and uh, her, her, her gentleman caller at the time, uh, Jermaine Dupree, was like, yo, Janet wants to meet you. You know, come over and mm. meet her. And you know how we are with Janet. Whew. I'm bawling. I start bawling in the club, like snot bubbles, the whole thing. I go up there. Because you were summoned. I was summoned, Ooh. and I was... But now she knows I'm a weirdo, so, like... <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen at this, in the middle of this club in Miami, and I get there, and she jumps up and gives me this hug and says, I'm so proud of you. Oh. She's a sweetheart. More snot bubbles. But now we're friends, and it's, but yeah. But, um, wow. So neither of us got it. <laughs> You're friends with Janet Jackson. That's, I'm jealous of that. She's amazing. She's, She's a every sweetheart. Heart. Have you met any of your heroes ever? I guess I would say for the, the first time for me, because um, did you guys see Waiting to Exhale? Yeah. yeah. OK. That's what made me move to LA. I just remember seeing those beautiful black women on the screen at the same time. And I was like, <gasps> it choked. <laughs> but I was inspired, and I wanted to do that. Like, I, I said, I have to go to LA because I want to make a little girl feel like how I felt, inspired to be, to dream. Moved to L.A., cut to, it wasn't as easy as I thought, but years later, I booked Baby Boy. Queen Latifah is nominated. Was it Hairspray? I can't remember what she Chicago. was nominated for. Chicago. Chicago, yeah. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. And the Smiths, Will and Jada, throw her this huge party downtown at some big warehouse. That was where you oh, my God, oh, my God. That was fun. OK, so I... <laughs> Totally green. The only movie I have under my belt is Baby Boy. No one knows me. They go, they don't even know my name. They, they call me that girl from Baby Boy. That was my name back then. And so I get there and I'm like, oh, everybody you could imagine was there. 
But I freaked out when I saw Angela Bassett. I was like, I was frozen. So a friend of mine was like, no, no, you got to meet her. And I was like, no, no, no. So they push me over there. I go over there. She turns around. She knows exactly who I am. She takes my hand and she goes, you are such a talent. I don't remember anything else that happened that night. Yeah. <laughs> All I know is that I was ordained by Angela Bassett. Please thank <laughs> the phenomenal Taraji B. Henson, Gabrielle Union. We love them so much. Stick around. Take as you want to see them come back. Thanks a lot for joining us here on Django Unchained. We'll be right back after these messages. And if we're